Henry David Thoreau once said, the world is but a canvas to our imagination. Looking around here, it's easy to see how our planet inspires us. And Earth Day is a great time to reflect upon the influences and inspirations within our planet and what has challenged and compelled us to be communicators and stewards for planet Earth. In 2021, we're celebrating the 51st anniversary of Earth Day, as well as the 50th anniversary of High Rock as a national environmental education landmark. Stay tuned and keep watching, and you'll find out all the great influences that have impacted our Green Belt environmental educators. Hi, my name is Karen Roos, and I'm an environmental educator here at High Rock Park in the Green Belt. Uh, my reflections of Earth Day are really not a specific Earth Day, but pretty much what I was sort of born into. I was born about a year after the original Earth Day, and it was just sort of a common thing for everyone to be involved and interested in our environment. Um, at that time, they were pushing for some legislation, uh, making sure we had clean wa water, clean air, um, and clean spaces and green spaces. Aside from legislation that was protecting our air and our water at that time, uh, for me personally, my family would come here to places like High Rock Park um, and explore. And that helped to foster a love and appreciation for our outdoor spaces. My father is an, a photographer and he was at the first Earth Day in New York City and he did document those in pictures. So as you can see, some of these pictures really um, capture the moment and how passionate people were at that time about their environment and making sure that they had a healthy habitat to live in. Um, today, I work here in High Rock Park as an environmental educator. And again, I came here with my family. I also came here with my school. Uh, environmental education was becoming a big thing in the 70s our uh, environmental education department was actually designated a landmark in 1971 same year that i was born um, and we're still going strong the poet wendell berry says the earth is what we all have in common and as we move into the 51st annual earth day celebration we reflect over the past year how nature and our communities are resilient. As an environmental educator here in the Greenbelt, I've had a lot of experiences that have shaped my life, specifically around Earth Day. One Earth Day in particular that sticks out in my head is Earth Day 1990, where as a kindergartner, my family had taken me to the Staten Island Zoo. I had always loved the Staten Island Zoo, in particular the reptile wing and the long history of herpetology that was conducted within that specific zoo. Of course, when I say herpetology, I mean the study of reptiles and amphibians. I love snakes and toads and frogs, and still as an adult to this day, fancy those animals in particular. And so in 1990, when I went to this Earth Day, the Staten Island Zoo had their normal exhibits, but on top of that, they had educational tables about different environmental topics in order to celebrate 1990s Earth Day. The ones that stick out to me in particular were the ones related to conservation, specifically with the theme connected to pollution. We did a lot of cool hands-on activities where we had to clean up a container of water using specific resources that were supposed to reflect oil spills. We did activities related to reusing and recycling plastics. And we also learned about this concept where there was a hole in the ozone layer. Of course, today, as an environmental educator and a general human being in 2021, I understand the impacts of climate change. I understand climate science. And as an environmental educator, it's my responsibility to create not only access to those educational components, but also to conserve, protect, and educate people on the importance of our planet. And so as we reflect back on Earth Day, in 2021, it's super exciting to know how far we've come and that our resiliency will allow us to continue to move forward into the 52nd annual Earth Day next year. We hope that you can join us here at the Green Belt for our virtual content that we have in order to explore this amazing day of celebration and reflection of planet Earth.
a good one. On a note by the bay stands a beautiful school. My elementary school, PS 53, the Barbara Esselborn Bay Terrace School. Just a few minutes from the southern portion of the White Trail and Great Kills Park, PS 53 is literally surrounded by nature. I graduated fifth grade in 1990, a year after Local Law 19 was passed that made recycling mandatory in New York City. 1990 was also the 20th anniversary of Earth Day, and we celebrated quite a bit in that year. We made recycled sculptures out of aluminum cans in art class, and one day during a field day, we even released ladybugs in the schoolyard. That September, Captain Planet and the Planeteers premiered on TV, and I looked forward to coming home from school each day and watching it. And to think, back then we had the Fresh Kills Landfill. And 11 years later, in March 2001, the Fresh Kills Landfill closed for good. And now, we're only a few years from Fresh Kills Park being fully open just about every day. Each Earth Day is a chance to reflect on hopes and dreams for a greener, cleaner tomorrow, and to take steps, large and small, to ensure a better future. And maybe someday, with our powers combined, we can take pollution down to zero. Happy Earth Day to everyone. My first memory of Earth Day actually came in kindergarten way back in 1997. Our teacher, Miss Thompson, had all the students bring in empty bottles of milk, just like this one right here. And she would use those bottles to glue them together to form an igloo house for the class to play in. And I really thought that was a cool way of reusing your recyclables instead of just throwing it away and making really cool works of art. A little later in life, I continued my education on the outdoors when I joined the Boy Scouts. I remember one Earth Day, we actually went to Gateway Park to plant native plants over there. And we're actually trying to do that here as well in High Rock with this little plot of land you see right here. So I'm glad that I can use my past education to continue to, uh, to make the earth beautiful by bringing it here to High Rock Park. I hope everyone has a happy Earth Day and I hope you can all gather some inspiration from your daily life. When I reflect on Earth Day's past, I can't really remember an individual holiday that I celebrated, but I really think about Earth Day in the way that people talk about Valentine's Day, where they say you don't have to wait until one day a year to show your love and eat chocolate together. And I was taught very literally that every day is Earth Day. And I was taught to respect, love, and revere our planet with every action and inaction of my daily life. As I was growing up, my mother taught me all about how Native Americans and indigenous people lived their lives as one with the earth, very close to her, and believed that she was absolutely filled with spirit that needed to be cared for. She taught me how to move gently and slowly through nature, paying attention to the ebb and the flow of weather, seasons, learning about all of her very mysterious ways, her plants, her animals, her shapes and sizes, so that I'd know best how to respect her. My upbringing and my perspective on Earth Day reminds me of just the perfect quote said by Senegalese conservationist Baba Dayan. And it goes, in the end, we will conserve only what we love, we will love only what we understand, and we will understand only what we are taught. My mother also taught me that we have control over the way we treat our planet by being civically engaged and voting for environmentally ethical legislation. By ensuring that people who fight for environmental, social, and economic justice are receiving my support, I'm making my voice heard about the direction that I think our planet needs to be going in. As an environmental educator and a mother myself, I'm able to breathe new life into my mother's words every day when I teach people about the earth and her mysterious ways. Planting the seeds early on about how to love and care for our planet and make for a healthier, brighter, happier, and more equitable future. So don't forget, every day is Earth Day, but especially today. We hope you enjoyed the reflections from the Greenbelt Environmental Education Department and do some Earth Day and some general reflections of your own. And if you want more great content and programming, check out our website at sigreenbelt.org. 
and stay connected in social media. Our Facebook channels are Greenbelt Environmental Education and The Greenbelt Conservancy, Instagram at SI Greenbelt, and of course, check out more great videos on our YouTube channel, The Statman Greenbelt.